Hey guys, Zaryu you here, and today I'm gonna walk you through all of the macros I use in classic World of Warcraft. Let's jump into it. Macro number one. Okay, actually I shared a lot of these on my Twitter, so follow me on Twitter. Now I'm the guy on YouTube that does the long intro. Damn it! Okay, macro number one. Show tool tip, dismount, cancel or slow fall, ice block, and frost bolt all into one macro. This macro is not necessary. I use this macro because I'm just used to the play style of always being able to press three and have it dismount me. If you don't want this macro, it is not necessary at all. It's nice because it cancels slow fall, so you get have like a slow fall midair, boom, hit that frost bolt. Frost bolt won't actually cast, of course, because there is a cast time and you'll cancel your slow fall as well, or it dismounts you. Um, and it's kind of annoying sometimes if you don't have a macro like this and you're trying to dismount, then um, you will actually have to right click off your mount to get off your mount or yeah, I think you actually have to like right click off your mount. You have to cancel the mount. So it's nice to have a dismount there into the frost bolt as well. Easy way to get off the mount. And it cancels my ice block. A lot of questions about how I block and then get out of it instantly. Boom, this is how. So I, I guess I said this macro is not necessary. The cancel or ice block part of it is necessary, but you don't need it into your frost bolt. You could technically macro that into any casted ability or have its own bind for it. You could macro it into Flame Strike, Blizzard would probably be okay, um, Fireball Scorch, anything like that. But I have it in the Frost Bolt, all of my cancel auras into one bind. So boom, cancel aura bind, number three, Frost Bolt for me, easy, basic, clean. I use the same macro on live, on to the next one. This macro, guys, this macro is absolutely hacker, okay? This is some, 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 some straight up hacker stuff, okay. Run this in game. If you guys follow me on Twitter, you already know to run this in game. Look how far these nameplates are showing. You see this guys? 60 yard nameplate distance. You have to run this macro in game. If you don't have this macro, you wouldn't be able to see the nameplates from this far away. Look at this. Look how far I can see this moss creeper or this one. Normally it's a 20 yard range. When you run this, it increases it to 60. Incredible macro. Would recommend. And while I'm on this, let me just give you guys another quick tip. Um, that has nothing to do with macros, but it's a classic tip that all of you guys should know about. You see how it says the name over the, the spider right there on the far distance? If you go to interface options, you go to names, NPC names, turn them off, it doesn't show. Actually, see, it doesn't show. Turn it on, boom, it shows. NPC names enabled, always show nameplates enabled, enemy units enabled, minions and minor enabled. Enable all of that and then run this macro right here, boom. By the way, all my macros I'll link down below in the description of this video so you guys can check it out very, very easily. Um, but yeah, there it is, nameplate distance. This is necessary, absolutely necessary. Run this in game 1000%. Also, uh, I think you need to make a macro and press the macro for some reason if you just type in a game, it doesn't work. I think, yeah, make a macro, press the macro, should be good. Bada bing, bada boom. On to the next one. You don't need this macro, this is for a quest. When I try to steal quest mobs, I'll like do like target, say um, forest moss creeper, and then I'll like spam the macro so that I get the first kill. You don't need this. This is just to take mobs from other people as soon as they spawn. Um, next macro. This one I shared on my Twitter as well. Phew. Lots of lots of sharing on the Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. Yeah. Um, link down below. Conjured sparkling water, cannibalize, and drinking water. Man, I actually want to show you guys this in action, but I don't see any. Um, things that I can cannibalize nearby. I'll, I guess I'll look for one in the meantime. But what this does is when you kill someone um, and the corpse nearby, you can drink water and cannibalize at the same time. Yes, you heard that correctly. You can cannibalize and drink and eat at the same time. I don't have food in here, but you could also do slash use um, conjured sourdough. I use two different binds so I don't waste food because it takes a lot of, like if you're a mage, you know, you feel me 100%. You know how long it takes to like make the food and then um, you don't want to just be wasting it if you're already full life. That's why I have two separate binds. So you click my food and then use this. Um, I'm looking for an NPC that I could use this on. Oh, this looks, oh, this little, this little guy looks pretty yummy. Okay, so yeah, I can press this macro. Boom, press it once. Look at this, cannibalize, eat and drink. Nope, I'm not hacking. Nope, this is in the game. I use it on live. This is legit. Okay, cannibalize, eat, and drink at the same time. One press of the button. Insanely OP macro that'll be listed down below. Okay, and world PvP, this, this, this macro is incredible, necessary, super, super, super good. Some of you guys are probably asking, how did you figure that out? Wait, this guy, this guy just, his body went, where is he? 
Maybe I'll hunt someone down. I don't see him. Oh, there he is. Actually, maybe I'll kill this guy. Um, how did he figure that out? I accidentally figured it out by using drink and cannibalize at the same time on live. Wow, actually like six months ago, maybe eight months ago. And then I tried it on classic and it worked as well. Um, so yeah, there's a sour shore guardian. You know what, maybe we won't kill that guy actually. Okay, so continuing with the macro video. Cancel mana shield, cancel mana shield. This is uh, another good one. Canceling mana shield just means if you wanted to put a mana shield because you know, it's a little, little sketch situation, you don't wanna die. But then you're like, oh crap, I got a heal from my healer, or I use a hellstone, or I bandage, or I cannibalized um, while eating and drinking, and then you don't need the mana shield anymore, and you don't, you, your mana becomes more valuable than your health bar for any reason. Boom, shift five, that's what I've bound to, cancels it. Now you don't need, now you don't have mana shield on anymore. This macro I would say is necessary. Um, I mean, you could always click it off with your mouse like this, boom, but it's a bit slower. So it's nice to just be able to boom, remove it anytime you want with one. Um, keybind. So cancel aura, mana shield. Next one, stop casting counter spell. Very, 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 very good to have a stop casting in your counter spell. Say you're casting a flame strike, but you need to see someone. Boom! Instantly stops the um, current cast and counter spells them. Just a nice little macro to have. Stop casting macro to have. I would recommend to have a stop casting into at least counter spell. Um, next one, damp and amp magic into one keybind. You don't need this, but it's nice. Like I have damp magic here. And if I want to swap to Amp and ma Magic, I just press Alt and then, and then have it there. So I have both in one keybind, essentially. Um, do you need this? No. It saves a spot on your action bar. It's kind of nice. Just having a nice modifier on the on the Alt key there. Um, and you can change the mod Alt to Shift or Control if you prefer that as well. Um, oh, uh, Mouse over Decurse. Now, this is a really nice macro. What this macro does is if you have no one targeted and you press the macro, it'll decurse yourself. And if you mouse over someone else, in your party, in your group, whatever, it'll decurse them instead. So no target, just decurses yourself. If you have a mouse over, it'll decurse the mouse over. Pog, really good. Um, I can't show you the macro in action because decurse only works if you have a curse on you. I found that out the other day. I was like, why isn't my decurse working? But I don't have no curses, so I actually can't show the macro in action, but it is a nice macro. I use the same one on live file. This one, I use the same one on live file as well. It's a frames macro. It sorts my character as the last spot on the frames. Couple things to get this macro working. This is not necessary. I, I'm just weird and I always like to be in the last spot of my raid frames. Um, this is not necessary at all though. If you wanna get it working, couple things you have to do. Go to raid profiles, sort by, group, press okay, run the macro by clicking it, and then press escape, go to interface options, and then press escape again, then it should work. Really finicky macro, it does work. You don't need it. I like being on the bottom of the raid frame so I can always see my health in the same spot. Not necessary. This macro is necessary. Console FFX Glow Zero. Like guys, look how much different this looks. If I change my glow to one, look how bright that is. All right, look how, like I'm almost being blinded. I need, I need some like sunglasses or something. Change it to zero, bada bing, bada boom. Oh, it makes the game look better. Actually in this zone, it doesn't matter too much, but in Durotar, it is like, oh, like it hurts my eyes if FFX flow is on one. So put it to zero, run the macro, done. You only need to run it once. Super, super nice there. Um, mouse over counter spell. Very basic. I can counter spell this bear over here just by mousing over and pressing CS. Don't have to target him. Pretty solid macro there. Same thing as like a focus macro on live, just a mouse over. Um, same thing with polymorph, mouse over polymorph. And a lot of my 1v2 clips you guys have been seeing on Twitter um, and YouTube as well. I can just easily poly this lion without actually targeting him. Just quick mouse over. Oh, resist. Unfortunate. Dude, that's actually crazy that resisted. Legit crazy that resisted. Because I have two points into here, three points into here, and he's 20 levels lower. Anyway, anyway. Um, potion macro. You don't need this. I actually don't even use this myself, so I don't think I do. Yeah, don't need that. Pirates for Lucker, yeah, I'll just open them. You don't need that. Mouse over rank one fire blast. So I guess it's mouse over season right now. Um, sort of mouse over rank one fire blast. You just blink in towards the level 32 human mage. You frost over him. And then you can rank one fire blast like this bear over here, mouse over without even targeting him. And then when, when the mage comes out of block, all you do is let the bear attack you and then you just kill the low level mage. So mouse over fire blast is a necessary macro. Okay, it is a necessary macro to 
pull things like Vicious Grey Bears while killing human mages that are defenseless. And um, let's just show you that Cannibalize macro. Again, look at this. Boom, Cannibalize and Shrinking at the same time. Whew. Clean. One clip, dude. One clip right, mm, beautiful. Love the taste of human. Anyway, um, Mouse Over Fire Blast, it's good for aggroing, it's good for sniping totems that shamans may drop. Um, you're dueling a shaman, they drop grounding, boom. Mouse Over Rank 1 Fire Blast on the totem, done. Um, continue killing the shaman. Good to have Mouse Over Rank 1 Fire Blast, okay? Um, slash Cat, oh, what, what's this guy do? What's going on here? Is this guy... That, okay, the warrior is like running backwards and killing me. This mage is ballsy. Um, anyway, rank one, uh, rank one frostbolt, really good to get a quick slow out. Um, I did a whole video on when to use which spell rank. It just went live yesterday, so you guys should be able to see that um, on my last upload. And I talked about rank one fire blast, rank one frostbolt, every single spell in which rank to be using. So definitely, definitely, definitely check that video out. But I have a macro for it. For any, do I have it? I have, I, you don't need this macro, I guess you can just dra drag rank one frostbolt. I guess I like it to say rank one on my bars, but yeah, you can just drag it from your spellbook too. Either way works. This macro, 10,000% necessary. If you've made it this far in the video, congrats, because this is the best macro of them all, okay? This is 1,000% necessary. You can just press wand, and you don't need, okay, okay, hold on, let me just kill this hunter. You can press wand, and you can just keep wanding someone without, accidentally double clicking it and then having the wand go away. So it's amazing. Okay. So normally when you would hit wand, what would happen is if you hit it once, it would work. If you hit it again, it's like tog it toggles it off and you stop wanding. It's really annoying and it's it quite frankly sucks, right? But with the wand macro, you can hit it three times, four times, whatever, just keep shooting. It's, it's not toggleable. Now to stop it shooting, you just move, right? And, it, and you can finish off the target. Non toggleable wand. You can spam this macro and you'll keep wanding. Oh, I love this macro. It should be default in the game. Yes, every if you're a priest, a lock, mage, anything that can wear a wand. Is there anything else? Probably not. Definitely, definitely use this macro. Last macro target Tim. I don't know what I was trying to target here. Timothy? Target Timothy? I don't know. I don't know what this macro is for. Target Tim. Must have been for a quest or something. Anyway, that's my entire macro list for Classic World of Warcraft, boys. Got you hooked up with all of the rank one macros. Got an add-on video out. Got an AOE grinding video out. Um, a little quick update. I'm level 52. I'm taking my time. I'm making tutorials for you guys, making clips. I'll be level 60 probably in a, another few days, hopefully. This is my AOE grinding spec that I've been rolling with. We're at 300 gold. Got the mount. Saving up for epic mount. That's pretty much it. Gear's looking, looking sick. Follow my progress on Twitch. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Let's close out this video. Guys, thank you so much for watching the video. There's a, someone attacking me in the game. Thank you so much for watching this video and be sure to thumbs the video up if you liked it. Thumbs it down if you didn't and talk to me down below in the comments for what type of content you guys wanna see next. I do read the comments. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all my social media. All the links are down below. I'll see you guys in the next upload.